so another uh, verse that this Calvinist guy brought up to me last night was John 15, 16. And I want to read something, what uh, Dave Hunt says about this, okay? So, he says, uh, in John 15, when we get to it, Jesus says, You have not chosen me, I have chosen you. Well, again, he doesn't say chosen unto salvation, okay? So realize that. He doesn't say chosen unto salvation, but he's chosen them to be his disciples. He's called them to follow him. He's empowering them to preach the gospel and so forth, to minister healing, but you can't take that to mean, well, if Jesus said you haven't chosen me, I've chosen you, and that we do not have to give our consent, okay? We can't. We can't interpret it that way. I can say that to any employee. An employer could say to the employee, you didn't choose me, I chose you. That doesn't mean that the employee doesn't have to agree to work for the employer. Okay, so I hope that you really understand that, and I want to read that again. Okay, so think about this analogy for John 15, 16. An employer could say to the employee, you didn't choose me, I chose you. That doesn't mean that the employee doesn't have to agree to work for the employer. The employer is saying, look, you couldn't force yourself upon me. I'm the one that has the final say. I initiated this. I offered you a job, but you still had to accept it. We can't force ourselves on God. We can't make God save us. We can't make God bless us. This all comes from God's side, but it doesn't mean we don't have to receive him as many. Because John 1.12 says, But as many as received him, as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Well, but doesn't that mean that we didn't receive him? We did. Verse 12 says that, but verse 13 is saying, Look, Man cannot cause himself to be born again. Man could not force himself upon God. In fact, man can't born again himself, give himself a new birth. Only God could do this, but there is still something. We have to accept it. The gospel says eternal life is a gift. The gift must be accepted, and if you try to force a gift on someone, it is not a gift anymore. Okay? And if you try to force a gift on someone, that's not grace, okay? Uh, so, I hope that you get that. John 15, 16, uh, you know, he's talking about them being disciples. He chose them as disciples. That doesn't mean that they didn't have to accept to be his disciple, okay? But they did not choose him, okay? Uh, just like an employer would say, okay, you didn't choose me, I chose you. Yes, you had to accept the job, but I chose you, right? Okay, so I hope that you understand that. It's not talking about salvation here. Uh, so, it's not saying that God chose some to salvation and some to hell. Okay, that's what we're saying. That's not what this is saying at all. Uh, but, of course, Calvinists want to interpret that way. It's completely false. Uh, it goes against scripture it goes against uh, our god-given conscience okay uh so you know they'll, they'll try to say that uh you know if you believe in free will or arminianism that uh then you're ultimately saying that man saves himself no 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 that's wrong you see the calvinists they want to distort things and they try to say you know well well, if you say that you're Arminian or you believe in free will, then you uh, say that, that that man saves themselves. Okay, so they make like a false false dichotomy or whatever. It's either God saves and you're a Calvinist, or it's man saves and you're an Arminian or something. You know, that's a that's a false dilemma. Okay, no. God is the one who saves. Salvation is of the Lord, but man must repent. Man must believe. The Bible says over and over and over again, and it's not just, you know, some words that don't mean anything that really, you know, men can't believe or repent uh, unless God makes them do it. Okay, so, uh, 
God does the saving, but you must come to God for him to save you. Okay, a man has free will to come to God or to reject coming to God. Okay, and so I want to explain something hopefully later today, but or in the near future, that, you know, Calvinists will say that, you know, man can't even believe without God making them believe, which is false. Uh, you know, but there is some, uh, God does have to enable in some way for man to believe, okay? There is some working of the Holy Spirit, uh, you know, prior to salvation, right? So we need to really understand that. And uh, it's more like, you know, God enables people to believe, but they still have that choice to believe or to reject. Calvinists want to say, no, God just regenerates people. He forces them to believe and against their will, and that's it. He chooses who's saved, chooses who's damned. No, that's not what the Bible teaches, okay? So, I hope you understand all this, but the main point of this video is John 15, 16. He says that you didn't chose me. You didn't choose me. I chose you, okay? So think of an employer, okay? Think of him talking to them as disciples, okay? That's, that's how we interpret that verse. So, thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.